All right, let's make a light box and gather some emails. So in this light box, we're going to offer them a free travel guide to Thailand in exchange for their email. That way, once we have their email, we can stay in contact with them, push out our latest posts and that kind of thing to us, to them, and in general, maintain a relationship with this visitor instead of them visiting the site once and then never hearing from you again. So click the plus sign. And then under interactive, there's a section called light boxes. Let's click subscribe, and we have a few different options in terms of where the light box is appearing from. So it could be a pop-up directly in the middle of the site. It could be something that comes down from the top, from the side, from the bottom. Let's do a basic centered pop-up. Light box is a nicer name, but they're pop-ups. And so let's do something like download my Thailand travel guide. Usually if you just ask somebody for their email, they're not going to give it to you. Why would they? But if you offer them some kind of content in exchange, they're much more likely to give you their email because you're giving something for free for something from them. So I really recommend creating some kind of content, whether that's a short course or a travel guide or whatever, and offering them that for their email. Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of designing. There's a few different elements within this pop-up. There's the actual light box itself with its own set of options. This one in particular has a container box that we don't actually need, so we're going to delete it. And then we have the Get Subscribers form that's actually collecting the emails. So in this light box, first off, I, this marble background doesn't make sense. Let's change the background. So you can click the paintbrush for design. And then let's choose an image. We've got a ton of stock images, and I think we have some that are of Thailand. Probably. It kind of looks like Thailand. Let's just search Thailand. Let's use this one. This woman traveling in Thailand. Okay, and let's make it a bit lighter so that you can read the text. We've changed the form title to be our heading font. Let's change the fields to match our branding as well. There's two different ways to do this. You can click directly on the field and change the settings for that particular field. Uh, but what's best, the best way to do it is to click the actual form and change the design settings there because then it'll change the form field settings for the entire form, not just one specific element one specific field. So we'll click design, customize design, input fields, and we're going to change the text for this first. Do paragraph two. Just We're doing the paragraph two to be just so it'll be a little smaller. Saw it change there. Now let's check how it looks on hover. Looks the same. Uh, let's change the text and the color of the submit button. So let's make the button red so it really stands out. And then on hover, maybe we can have that blue color. And the text, let's change to P2 as well, paragraph 2. Okay. The success message, let's switch that to be our paragraph 3. Let's make it a little smaller. And we can have it be, mm, let's make it green. It doesn't really stand out though. It can be red, that's fine. Okay, there is our new form. I think that's good enough. Okay, now let's set the triggers for the light box. So we don't want this to display on all of our pages. We just want it to display on our home page. We could have it set to other pages which might make sense, say somebody navigates to your shop page, you show them a pop-up for a free coupon if they, you know, buy one, get one free, or something like that. We're going to choose just the home page so people don't get annoyed with us. It's going to be delayed by two seconds, so it's not the very first thing they say, see when they hit the website. They have a couple seconds to read the menu and the logo, check out the hero image, and then after those two seconds, this pop-up will show up. Okay, has the light box closed, the X icon. That's fine, although let's put it 
in the light box, so it's a little more noticeable. And then the last thing, if you click off the light box itself, then you have this background overlay. Let's change it. It's this kind of weird gray color. It's like have a nice blue color and then set the opacity so you can see the website behind it. We'll set it to like 25%. Okay, so that's our light box done. It looks pretty decent. There's obviously a couple other ways we could do this. We could have a video background. We could set this to be the top bar, to be a top bar pop up or a bottom bar pop up all over the side. But I think this looks solid. Under the form title, you could probably add a little description of what you get in the travel guide. Maybe something like 100 plus pages of awesome Thailand content. All right, and we're gonna center it. Make this a little bigger to fit everything. Okay. All right, that looks dope. But you know what, let's make this a little smaller. You realize a lot of the job of web design and design in general, just playing with things, tweaking them a little bit just to get it just right. Okay, see you in the next video.